Karen Silkwood was a chemical technician and labor union activist who became America's first nuclear whistleblower. Born on February 19, 1946 in Longview, Texas, Silkwood's journey led her to become a pivotal figure in nuclear safety and workers' rights. After graduating high school, Silkwood pursued her passion for chemistry at Lamar State College of Technology in Beaumont, Texas. However, her academic journey was cut short when she married and started a family. In 1972, Silkwood's life dramatically turned when she was hired as a metallography laboratory technician at the Kermagee Cimarron Fuel Fabrication Site near Crescent, Oklahoma. Here, she worked on producing plutonium pellets for nuclear fuel rods. Shortly after starting her job, Silkwood joined the Oil, Chemical, and Atomic Workers Union. Her involvement in union activities quickly intensified, and she became a vocal advocate for plant safety. As part of her union duties, Silkwood began investigating health and safety issues at the plant. She uncovered numerous violations, including worker exposure to contamination, faulty respiratory equipment, and improper storage of radioactive materials. In the summer of 1974, Silkwood took her concerns to the highest level, testifying before the Atomic Energy Commission about the safety violations she had discovered. This bold move made her a target for both praise and scrutiny. During the week of November 5, 1974, Silkwood experienced a series of unexplained radiation exposures. Despite being decontaminated, she continued to test positive for plutonium contamination, even in her home. On November 13, 1974, Silkwood was preparing to meet with a New York Times reporter and a union representative to share evidence of safety violations at the plant. While driving to the meeting that evening, Silkwood's car veered off the road and crashed into a concrete culvert. She was killed instantly, and the documents she was carrying were never found. The circumstances surrounding Silkwood's death immediately raised suspicions. While officials ruled it an accident, possibly caused by fatigue or sedatives, others believed she may have been forced off the road. In the aftermath of her death, Silkwood's estate filed a civil suit against Kermagee for alleged negligence in maintaining plant safety. After years of legal battles, the case was settled out of court in 1986 for $1.3 million. Silkwood's story captured the public imagination, inspiring books, articles, and a 1983 film starring Meryl Streep. On November 13, 1974, Karen Silkwood, an employee at an Oklahoma nuclear facility, was on her way to meet with a reporter from the New York Times. She never got there. Name? Karen Silkwood. Drew Stevens. Dolly Pelliker. Sweet the sound that saved Sweethearts like your two people. I'm in love with one of them. I, want I love you, Terry. Was lost, but now I'm found. Was bound, but now I'm free. What about the radiation effects from all this material? We've all seen the poor guy suffering the effects of sunburn. Oh, radiation's like that. <laughs> there was a contamination in our section. They're saying that you did it. I just hate people talking about me that way. Karen, the company's got to blame somebody, otherwise it's their fault. Sounds like they're trying to get rid of you. I wish I could take care of you. But I'm doing something good. I know what you're doing. You're the wrong person to be doing. I was just thinking if you'd ever quit, come away with me. I can't quit now. What are you doing in there? I'm so scared now. They're trying to kill me. Today, 
Karen Silkwood is remembered as a courageous whistleblower who sacrificed her life to expose dangerous practices in the nuclear industry. Her actions led to increased scrutiny of nuclear facilities and improved safety standards.